All right, in this discussion of seismic waves, um, I'm going to just talk about some of the basic features of the main type of seismic waves. Uh, the first set are considered to be called body, body waves. And body waves, as the name might suggest to you, um, are waves that go through the Earth as opposed to just on the surface of the earth. And the first one, the first one is the primary wave. Primary wave, also known as the P wave. And it is the let's see where can I write this? It's the fastest of the waves. The fastest of the waves. And I'm going to go to this website that gives a very good um animation of how the primary wave moves, and the primary wave is considered to be a um, compression wave. So, in other words, it's kind of like uh, dominoes, where you know I, I knock over one, it'll hit the other, it'll hit the other, it'll hit the other, it'll hit the other. Um, another example that I'll show in the in the classroom is a slinky, where uh, where I'll push the slinky, and you'll be able to see the compression from one end of the sl slinky to the other end of the slinky, just like in this animation here. So you can see how, we'll start over here, it compresses, or is it, there's the compression, it gets pushed in, and it just kind of follows along in the same direction that the wave is going. All right, so it's also called a compressional wave, and that's our P wave. Okay, all right, now going back, all right, we said that the P wave, or the primary wave, is the fastest, the next type of wave is the secondary secondary wave or the S wave and it is slower than the primary wave um, about I think half speed, half of its speed and um, I've been saying that they're body waves they're body waves and they go through the earth and what I mean by that is let's say Let's say this is the surface of the Earth, and here's, I don't know, here's a little house, right? That's a terrible house. Let's make a better roof. Here's our house, <laughs> a little bit better. And then here's um, the focus of our earthquake. So our P wave is going to travel first, P wave, P wave. And then our secondary wave is going to follow along that because it's going to be slower. All right, and you can see that it's traveling through the Earth. Okay, and um, we said that the P wave were compression waves, and I showed you that animation. Let's go to the animation of an S wave, and the S wave is a little different. Let's see. Let's show this, and you can see that just by this picture, you can kind of guess that the S wave is going to travel kind of like a jump rope. And it's going up and down, up and down, up and down, okay, along the uh, z-axis shown here, up and down. And also, it can also go along the y-axis. Um, there's no, an I don't see an animation for that anywhere on this website, but it can also go in this direction well, as well. And it's an S-wave, a secondary wave or a shear wave. Okay, so that's the motion of that. And again, it's important to remember that this is going through the Earth. Okay, and now, the last one is a surface wave. Surface wave. And there's actually a couple types of surface waves, but we won't get into it. The surface wave, yeah, let's scroll down a little bit. The surface wave is, would be, on the surface of the earth and we travel this way all right and because it's on the surface of the wave it's also um, and because it's also the slower I think the slowest of the waves of the seismic waves um, it will also cause the most damage damage in an earthquake the most damage. All right, and so we we'll go back, <coughs> and we'll find here's one. T 
type of service wave called the Raleigh wave. And in this Raleigh wave, and again, here's the surface. And it looks very much similar to um, the S wave. Uh, but again, this is on the surface of the Earth. And if you take a close look, and it's hard to kind of see it, if you keep an eye on this, on this blacked out portion, you can see it kind of moves in a circular pattern. It'll go and it'll kind of spin, an elliptical m motion. And so here's the particle motion they, they're drawing right here. It's going kind of an, an elliptical motion, all right, kind of a rolling action. All right. And then the other type of S wave is something called a love wave. And so the love wave is kind of zigzagging uh, left and right along the y-axis here. So you can see the particle motion going left and right to the direction. And if you look at this, you can see that it's going left and right. All right. So there's a couple of different types of surface waves. But I'm not really concerned about, you know, that you know the two differences. But again, here we have P waves and S waves, which are both body waves. And then P wave being the fastest, S waves being the slower of the two. And then here we have the surface waves. Oops. Surface waves. All right, I think that's enough for now. Um, in the book, um, there's some good information, but I think it might be a little bit hard to understand. Hopefully, this clears it up. Um, but also, in our book, there's um, some links where that can lead you to um, some good animations that will help explain uh, how these moves as well. All right. Thanks for watching.